So we're gonna do the Jumpin' Jack Flash today. Jumpin' Jack Flash is a pattern tied by Wayne Gravatt in Missoula, and it's arguably the best nymph pattern for Rock Creek and these surrounding rivers. I don't know what it imitates. Some people say it's a stonefly. Others think it's a little minnow. Um, the cool thing is you can fish it lots of different ways. You can dead drift it, you can swing it. Um, it's just a very versatile bug and an easy tie. So let's start. So what we've got here is a uh, size eight 2XL hook. Uh, that's kind of the standard for the jumping jack. You can do other sizes, but the bigger one uh, seems to do pretty well. And then we've got a, what is it? A 3 16th inch uh, gold bead on this hook. So that's gonna be your front. And so what we're gonna do is take dark thread, uh, ideally six aught, but I'm using eight, so we'll probably have a little more breakage here during this video again. And I've already oh, broken you one. You've already broken it? Yeah. So coat your, uh, coat the hook shank in the thread, get to, to the back, stop straight up from the barb of the hook. It'll work, that's fine. Oh, yeah, it's gonna take forever. Wrap it. So you'll have well, approximately one inch of thread coating on that hook chain. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do, actually let's bring this back forward, right behind the bead. And then what we're gonna do is take some of that olive marabou that's sitting there. So everyone, just take one. Less is more with this. All right, so what Wayne does, he doesn't use the entire marabou. He'll go at the tip of it, kind of split it in half, and just peel it down the middle like that. So you're basically left with half a marabou tail. And so once you have that, you're going to uh, kind of figure out how much tail you want sticking out the back of the, the hook. It's very little. It's not like a streamer. You just kind of want a little puff of tail going out the back. So approximately, I can never tell with these cameras, but approximately that much sticking out the back. Basically half inch, maybe slightly over. And tie it down over the, over the entire hook shank. There you go. Try to keep it sitting on top of the hook too. You don't want it twisting around. And just bring that thread all the way back to where you initially stopped with it. And then, yeah, just wrap it a couple of times. Really get that marabou down. Clip off your excess. Do you think that's enough? You're going to cut that. And then, well, this is back here, I mean. yeah, oh, yeah, that looks okay. great. Yeah, you can just cut that so, off. Yeah. And then, before the next step, finish right, right so there. Take, yeah, just half of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next thing we're going to do is attach our peacock and our copper wire. May, June, May, yeah. And just tie them to the back of the hook. How many strands of peacock? Probably six in this case. I would do five, five or six. Yeah, the, kind of want to start with the thickest end. But there's no uniformity to peacock feathers, to peacock curl, so just bundle them together as much as you can. Yeah, I haven't been back in years, but the last time I was there, for so we have something like that. I yeah. recognize yeah. 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 because they break yeah. less yeah. Crazy tips. Yeah. Tourists and, and then, and yep, tie the base down. Well, yeah, I to the back of the hook there. Yeah. 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 Do you tie the like tips, the, city that the tip in first or the end? I go end in first, so the the thickest part you'll want to tie down. It's very young. The okay. Oh, there's one right for any other. Oh, there is. Oh, I didn't see. Thank you. So tie the copper. So yeah, tie the tie the copper on the top as well. Going facing backwards. Yeah, yeah. I'm just pointing back behind the hook, just like the peacock. Then really cinch that bad boy down. Like get a lot of wraps on that copper, just so it doesn't slip. And then work your thread. That's gonna go crazy. Yeah to the front, behind the bead. I mean, 
hard to keep up, really. And that's it. That's the fly right there. Well, show it. Oh, my property. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, yeah, it's a streamer. Well, you know, you know, I think I'll tie 50 oh, Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. so with the peacock, there's always kind of nice. that desire to finish all of the wrapping in one, which with peacock is really tough because this stuff is so brittle and it just, it can break easy. So what I want you to do is just start wrapping, like gather them all together and maybe give them a little twist and very gently just start wrapping towards the front, build your peacock body. Now what you're gonna find is certain strands are gonna come loose a little sooner than others because just because they're shorter. You're doing it right. So when that happens, what you can do Good. is if you're running out of space, just tie it down. Okay. Yeah. Tie down that That's peacock. Right. So, you Cinch it like that. And then you can keep going. Oh. So just work incrementally with your peacock. The uh, most important thing is that that body is full and even. You don't want any extra lumps anywhere. And stop, attach more if you have to, and just work your way up. So, for example, mine, I wasn't able, I was only able to get about through half of it. So now I'm just gonna attach a little more, tie it down to where I stopped, and then just keep wrapping it. That's the thing with this fly is, you know, a lot of this stuff is pretty delicate, so you gotta be pretty gentle with your wraps. Yeah. So keep wrapping, keep wrapping. So you get pretty close to behind the bead. Maybe give it just a tiny little gap uh, between the bead and the peacock, but very little, very minuscule. You put a finishing loop in there? No. Yeah. And yeah, if you wanted to tie it off with a whip finish right here, you could, um, just so you don't lose your progress. So, don't you wanna cut that off first though? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yep, copper up. And so uh, what we're gonna do here is called the cross wrap. So this stuff, if, if we fished this fly as it is, that peacock, even if you were casting it, there might be a chance that it could just fray and unravel. So what we're gonna do is kind of secure it down and create some ribbing at the same time. But instead of wrapping this kind of the traditional way like we do with our thread and those feathers, is we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So you're gonna wrap it towards you. And what that's doing is crossing over the peacock curl. So it's essentially locking it down and making it far more durable. You want about five wraps as you work your way to the front and try to space them out evenly, which is easier said than done, but it is doable. So once you have that, you're gonna take your thread, wrap it multiple times on each side of your leftover copper. You really wanna just get that cinched down nicely And then a lot of people, instead of cutting the wire, they'll just kind of helicopter it until it comes off. And then, yeah, get some more thread and just cover that end of uh, copper as much as you can. Okay. okay. Then we're gonna get some crystal flash. Crystal Flash, really good stuff, just for a lot of different fly patterns. And so this is gonna be kind of a pseudo wing, I guess. You don't need much of this, only about five or six strands. And then cut off, I'd say, well, probably two inches of it. So I'll pass that around. Yeah. 
So when you do have your, your crystal flash, what you're gonna wanna do is have uh, one end nice and even with all the strands. So just kind of take whatever is closest and just give it just a tiny little trim just to even those out. And that's gonna be the end of your wing. So what we're gonna do is just tie it right on the top. Doesn't need to be flaring out or anything, just sitting up top. And it's gonna go about halfway down your marabou tail. So there's only gonna be about you know a half inch of marabou sticking out beyond that. So a little bit shorter wing, right where you tied down that copper in your peacock. All right, so this hackle's a little smaller, but it's gonna work. So you can see with these, these little partridge hackles, we've got these very fine fibers on the top and then this coarser, fuzzier stuff on the bottom. So what you're gonna wanna do is peel away that coarse, fuzzy stuff. So you just have, you getting that, Lisa? I am. Okay, I'm so you just have that little bit of feather there. And you'll notice this feather kind of has a bit of uh, a concaveness to it. It curves in a certain direction. So you want that curve to be pointed back uh, towards the bend of your hook when you tie this down. So cut a little bit of that stem off. You don't need too much. We're only gonna do like one, maybe one and a half wraps with this. So you really don't need much at all. Well, first tie it on and then you cut. Tie that stem down. And then you're gonna take your hackle pliers and you're gonna try to hit that center vein that's at the middle of this feather. It's kind of tough to see with these, but you can see there's one stem that goes all the way up and you're gonna try to plier right onto that stem, right at the tip, like so. And then you're gonna do one very gentle wrap just to create a collar. This is probably the hardest part this of this fly. I know, this is where <laughs> it's gonna be a total mess. Pliers. Okay. Johnny makes it look so easy. And then you just, <laughs> what you can do is take your fingers and just kind of flare it out if it's sticking out anywhere. And it just creates a really good collar on this thing. How's everybody looking? Terrible. <laughs> I ripped the feathers out and yep. tried to grip them with the hackle pliers. And then just kind of take your fingers and just sort of sway it all back. Um, can I get another feather on this? Start yeah. Over? Trial and error. And these are, so these are definitely a little smaller than they should be. There's probably some bigger ones, actually. Maybe do that one. How much yeah. stem do you leave to wrap around the... Mm. A couple millimeters. It's so no, hardly just, just enough oh, that okay. you can actually get a, a good cinch down on it. And so the last thing we do for this fly after that is we do a little peacock between the hackle and the bead, just to give it that uniform buggy look. So take just one strand, tie it in, and then just build that, oh, see, I just, I just Behind broke it. Behind it or in front of it? In between, front. behind the, the bead, in front of the partridge hackle. And if you were using orange thread, you could create a little hot spot here too. Oh, those work good too. Yeah, but this is kind of the, the classic version of it. And then once you have a good collar there for your peacock, tie it off, clip off your excess, and then we're gonna whip finish it. I grabbed some heat. Whips. 
whip finish right behind the, the cone. Boom, do it a couple times maybe. So the peacock curl goes in front of the collar. Yes. Yeah, there's just a little space there that needs to be kind of filled up. Then you'll take a little head cement at that point, right here, and just dab it on the top there, right where you tied yeah. everything off. So this is one you don't do a whole lot of variation on colors, right? Not typically. Yeah. Wayne used to make these in like black mm -hmm. and uh, they just didn't work as well. Hmm. Something about this combination of marabou and flash material and peacock just really, really does the job with it. Hmm. 